Hello my alien students, welcome back. So today what we're going to learn? We're going to learn something, actually this is, let's say, consider this part 4 of this beautiful project, the MEP project, okay? So today what we're going to learn? We're going to learn something called as heat and load calculation, okay? And this is part 4 of this project. So let's move forward and uh, let's see how we move forward, isn't it? Okay. See, what we have done in, in the earlier classes, you would be maybe notice that I finished the um, spaces, okay? You would notice that I finished the spaces. Now, yeah, can you see this? This is called a space, isn't it? This is another space, okay? How did we create spaces? We, go, we went to the Analyze tab, clicked Space, and then we placed the spaces, okay? Okay, now, see, for us to do heat and load calculation, okay, you need to know something very important, okay? This is called a zone. Okay, we've also finished the zones okay so you will be saying john i can't see you know this is good what you have done but i'd like to you know like um, differentiate between spaces and zones okay in the sense you know when i look at this it looks good okay it looks good but i'd like to have it differentiated okay because see when i did this when i selected it okay you could see in red color okay how do we do it okay type your friend vg okay then go to HVAC zones, okay, there is something called as interference, interfere fill, is this clear, okay, this needs to be filled, this needs to be ticked, okay, similarly, if you go to spaces, isn't it, any comments, these things should be uh, ticked, okay, beautiful, okay, one more thing, I will just do this, if you see, notice, John, when you keep your mouse on an object, it's called a pre-selection. We've not selected, just kept it. It's called hover. Okay, how come it's a red color? How come when in my Revit it is blue color? If you want to change it, go to File. Okay, Options. Uh, user Interface. Graphics. Here, if you change this to blue, it will be your default. What is default? Okay. Just for your information. Okay, see now. If I keep you see it became blue. Okay. Anyway, okay. After this, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to let's say select one section, one uh, space. Okay. We need to assign it the type of building it is, a type of space it is. Select the section. Any comments? Okay. See here, space type. No, generally it will be like building. You know, it's not going to be filled. So you're going to type click here and uh, let's say assign the type of building. In other words, it's a type of space it is okay after this after this you have finished all of this one by one you'll have to um, assign okay it's office enclosed whatever this will be another stuff i've assigned it one by one i've assigned okay there is this see open plan whatever you'll have to each um, space you'll have to assign like that okay any comments after that go and in your analyze tab go and click uh, color fill legends okay that right. see there is one trick here okay before you click here, just go and edit type and show title. This should be clicked. Any comments? Okay. Apply and okay. Click here. What type of uh, zones we need? What type of color schema? We need uh, zones. HVAC zone. Keep it schema 1. Click okay. Any comments? Automatic it will fill. Edit type. Based on what criteria? Based on the naming it will uh, fill. Okay. I hope this much is clear. Okay. So in the next part, I uh, uh, will start doing load calculation. Okay, this is like a series of videos, okay, where we will, from a blank screen, we started blank, isn't it? And we started adding spaces, whatever, isn't it? So in the next class, which I give you the procedure of doing, how do we do heat and cooling loads procedure, okay? Before that, before we do that, let's uh, show you what to do. Go to manage time, okay? Go to project information. We need to change some settings, okay? Manage tab, uh, project information, click energy settings, edit. Okay. Again, under make sure ground floor is level 1. This is the most important thing. Ground plane level 1, that is the base. Click edit and go down. You would see somewhere called space type. Click here. And if you know this is called, if there is, let's say, the roof. It's 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 you now four inch lightweight concrete, isn't it? Maybe you like maybe your roof is different, so you can change what you like. Let's say I want it to be eight inch or something. Okay, eight inch lightweight concrete. I can click override and edit what I want to change. Okay, if you want to change everything, click all, override for everything, and change what you want. Okay, based on your project, isn't it? What's the exterior wall? What's the interior? Whatever. Hmm? 
any comments here answer okay click okay so you have to click four times we click see here one okay two okay three okay four okay any comments okay this is the settings for the project okay then other thing let me finish this in the full this video only okay then go to analyze tab under heating and cooling loads under reports panel reports and scheduling panel click heat and cooling loads okay like this one um, dialog box will open okay from there you need to change your location wherever you are you just change the location okay this is an office type building isn't it if you want to you can change the location project face okay you get the picture isn't it you can go and change wherever you want what's the weather whatever isn't it based on your location you can change it click ok ok there is one more one minute uh, details yeah for each room let's say this is conference ok let's say this is the corridor you can change the settings for it how do we do it so this is the highlight this is the corridor isn't it if this is a space type what is its corridor you can change its values okay because you know each building will have different um, parameters isn't it okay similarly lighting power whatever you can change what you like to change isn't it okay after that after everything is done say uh, yeah go back general and say calculate okay now uh, what's this rivet will teach you let's not teach you will calculate and provide you the heat and cooling loads for this project okay you need to change whatever because see i tell you one thing these settings are most important these settings vary from building to building and say yeah from building to building isn't it so we receive we got this um, heating and loading heat and load calculation report okay now you say john why did we do it i tell you why we did it okay is this clear okay now let's suppose i would let's say go to the ceiling plan isn't it now for this area for this area i want to calculate well, this space let's say i want to place air terminals okay imagine that let me do undo one second okay let me undo so you know you need to see the what's the difference why are we doing this uh -huh. loads we don't want to load okay listen okay so if we do select a space look at this because for us to know to place one second okay just a second for us to calculate or place an air terminal we need to know what is the calculated supply airflow for this isn't it see it is here not computed isn't it once we place an air terminal here isn't it how do we we will place air terminal here airflow will be based on what your calculated air supply in the coming coming video i'll teach you how to do it don't worry okay don't don't make it complicated it is easy okay any comments okay so then what we will do is yeah so we go to uh, analyze tab heating and cooling loads change the setting see the type of building what it is isn't it isn't it you override whatever wherever you want to do change it okay and then calculate then you would see a rivet after it does the calculation you would see rivet filling this it's not been anymore not computed it will be calculated okay just take some time we will let it uh, load everything okay this is heating and loading calculation report has been created click the same space and then go and find your friend see isn't it why actually see specified airflow 208 liters per second okay what the other one actual airflow why actual zero because i did not place any air terminal okay i hope this is clear now similarly for every space you will see the same story different different uh, specified and calculated isn't it actual zero why actually we have not placed air terminal let's say we placed an air terminal system tab uh, 260 is the offset okay just one random question here okay how do i know the ceiling is at 260 millimeter or uh, 260 centimeter how do i know that okay give me in the comment section okay okay see now what i said let's say i placed one air terminal here we need to change the flow 260 
235 isn't it in this space how much is required 208 isn't it but actually is 235 so we need to make it 210 very close isn't it 3 percent maximum or 5 percent maximum tolerance isn't it so we said 210 okay now if we click the actual flow you will see isn't it okay anyway i hope everybody enjoyed this beautiful class the cl my aim in this class was to teach you how to do heat and load calculation one of the most important subjects in our hvac designing isn't it how did it go analyze tab reports heat and load but before you do this go to manage tab change the project information isn't it edit type make sure level one is selected options bar okay here semantic type even if you want to change the type of the building not the type but the characteristics of the room or whatever may be the story isn't it click four times okay and we did this isn't it anyway i hope everybody enjoyed this beautiful class see each other in the next class fresh and energized keep moving forward yalla bye